Ok, vamos a empezar. Vamos a trabajar ahorita con las deliciosas tortas de Inés. Estos son sabor de naranja. So what we're going to do today, uh, we're going to use these beautiful, beautiful tortas. They are flavor, unlike the other ones, if you watch the other videos, these are made out of um, the same sort of dough, but with orange uh, scent and aromas. It smells delicious. So what we're gonna do with this, very quickly, I'm just gonna put it in a plate. Um, we're gonna make a, we're gonna stop them up with ricotta cheese and, or a soft cheese. It doesn't have to be ricotta. It could be anything you have in hand that is soft, cream cheese or any um, soft Spanishes will work just as fine. Uh, we're using a, we're making a reduction of honey and rose water, a bit of uh, orange. Uh, we're gonna reduce all that until, until you get a, a very nice syrup and then we're gonna put it together. Now, what I'm gonna do before I start my syrup, I'm gonna throw this in the oven. My oven is off, but I just want it to be just as slightly warm before I serve it. Perfect. So here, we're gonna do this. The next thing we're gonna do is honey. We're gonna do a bit of rose water. And we're gonna do a scent, a peel of orange. I already previously segmented some orange, so I got the Supreme, very beautiful for my dish. I'm just gonna add the extra liquid here with the uh, scented rose water and the honey. This is gonna be very, very tasty. I'm gonna cook this for about maybe three minutes. I just want the I just want the liquid to become syrupy. As you can tell, the the honey is at the bottom of the my, of my pan. And now what I want is, is, the, is to become very, like, a, 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 just to be syrupy. Okay, so as you can see, it's liquidy. And what I'm looking for is, uh, I'm gonna basically incorporate the honey with the, with the orange zest, with the orange uh, uh, liquid and zest, and also the rose water. Put this here, just a couple of seconds. Let's see what happens. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my tortas from the oven. Mm. I get the aromas of the orange already here. This is really nice. I'm gonna turn my glaze. I'm gonna turn my glaze off. And what I'm gonna do is I have ricotta here. I'll put some ricotta right here. Such. I'm gonna get my glaze. I want you to see it here. The orange just uh, it's just incredible. Just gonna add a tiny bit of my glaze on top. I'm gonna add more glaze. I'm just letting it, my glaze is gonna warm up the torta as well as the cheese. I'm gonna put some pistachios. I'm gonna put some, uh, put some oranges around here. Okay, kind of with these. And just because we have a bit of figs, I'll throw some figs around them. Wow, it smells delicious. The rose water is incredible. The smell of the rose water with the oranges is just incredible. The torta, which has an orange scent already, that's just the whole kitchen here. It smells like it's almost like a, like almost like an orange tree. I'm gonna put more of these. Now, I just want you guys to look and to take into consideration that to make this delicious dish took less than five minutes, and then you make something incredibly beautiful and exquisite out of an ingredient 
like this a product that already looks delicious and already looks very tasty and is, is very flavorful we just added a couple more ingredients which is also very spanish you get a beautiful ricotta oranges pistachios a glaze is is it's incredible i hope you guys once again be here right now this smells like heaven <laughs>